Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 25 of Let's Platinum God of War. I hate that guy. He will be back. <laughs> okay, so let's head over to the boat. Oh no, the boat isn't here. It's still back at the other side of the lake. Then we go back the way we came. The lift. We really gotta go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Then. <laughs> Alright, cool. So the boat is not accessible at this point, so we have to go back into Alfheim. Or into the Ring Temple. Luckily though, things are a little different this time, so we can access new areas and everything. Okay, I think that's the way we have to go. However, you can see everything is dark. Uh, we went that way before. There isn't so. a way back up from here, you know. I know. <laughs> just looking, just looking. Alright, so let's go back this way. These doors were originally closed, but now they're open. However, the enemies that were inside are no longer here. I don't know where they could be. This one, annoyingly, I think stays closed. And in this one, we can find, after a long time, <laughs> The fourth elven artifact. So that's good. And now the only way to go is through here. So let's do that. Great. Now I can barely see. There's light. Make do. Okay, okay we have a revenant. Where'd you go? We have two revenants. Damn, missed. <laughs> that sucks, actually. Revenants are uh, very difficult. <laughs> Ow, my poison. I mean, my poison. My health. Ah, level 2. If I can at least kill this one. Okay, good. Nice, got another talisman activation. I don't know if I got to show off the the stun for um the revenant. What is Okay, we have a new glitch. <laughs> His shield was <laughs> That was really strange. Alright, maybe I can show it off here. So we'll do that. Hang on. This, this. Oh she didn't turn the other way. Boom. Nice. It would help me if you would hold the light up so I could see where I'm shooting. Use your ears. Adapt. I <laughs> Alright, Revenant Poison. Uh, her Fisher attack can move around obstacles to hit us. Father has a better chance of dodging if he waits until it's closer. So yeah, that's very important to take note of. Did I gain? I have a decent amount of experience now. Um... What was I going to say? Uh, yeah, I like that little conversation there between them two. You know, he he said, you know, if you hold the light up, I can see. And then he goes, use your ears, adapt. It's it's a really good good one because... Um, uh, and then he says, I am. You know, so Kratos actually that won that one, you know. <laughs> he won that little scuffle. Okay, that's fine. Yep, pin against the wall. Nice. This is a good area to do this in. Beautiful. Alright, that went fantastic. Lee. <laughs> What's not going fantastically is my health. Here. Now where do we go from here? Can pick up another Elven artifact, number five of six. It really starts to drop very quickly. Yeah, my health is very low, but that's okay. Plan on carrying the crystal everywhere like the last one? If need be. <laughs> Decided to try and fire. Okay, let's carry this over here. What we're going to do first is we're actually going to carry it all the way to the other side of this area so we can solve a puzzle and. Um, was that enemies? Oh, hello. Yeah, that's right, that was you. Why didn't you appear before? 
Oh, that, okay. Finally, he did something right. <laughs> and Tronimo! <laughs> I wish he had given us uh, some health, but that's okay. As you can see there, even if you throw them off, um, they'll... Uh, oh, wait. No, no, no. I don't need to carry this all the way. I'm just realizing. Uh, wait. No, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> I do. I forgot about this part here. How in the hell did you shoot that <laughs> from there? Another enemy? Oh, okay. Okay, that one didn't really work out. Let's try that again. Nice. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yes, good. Nice big health. There's still a fair bit more. Alright, here we go. So, put the uh, crystal down. Grab that one. Alright, so remember those um, lights? So they're here, and this puzzle is based on a timer. So we light this, we hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, and then just keep, keep doing that until... So you get the correct symbol. There we go. As long as you get the correct symbol on all four before the timer runs out, you can solve the puzzle. It is a little on the tricky side that one, but uh, just keep keep attacking. What? No other health stone. I'm low on health. And finally, I believe this is the chest piece. Yep. Uh, runic scaled spaulders. <laughs> I've heard it's chest armor, but technically it's shoulder armor. That's okay, that's just how Kratos rolls. <laughs> Alright, let's pick up this. Go all the way back. We're pretty much done now. Now where do we go from here? Don't worry, Trace. I know my way around. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty much done with Alfheim. Um, but before we leave, there are a few more things we can do. This one's actually, this next part is one of those where you have to be Hyper vigilant Boy, to figure shoot. out. I know how it works. To figure out how to um get the remaining uh, artifact, elven artifact, because it's uh it requires a, a fair bit of memory. Finally, we can use the same sandball that brought us down the first time. I want to get out of here. So Trace wants to get out of here. We can use the same sandball that we used last time. However, if we lower this all the way, freeze it. I almost missed that shot, but that's okay. And we go into this room, where we found that secret treasure chest just behind us. There were also some gates in here that were closed. And if we go in now, we can find the final elven artifact. 680 experience, beautiful. I don't think there's anything else, sadly. There's a weird flame here for like no reason. It's just for lighting, and this is now blocked off, isn't it? There were the the tendrils in here and then you could climb out in this section. Yeah, that's right, it's blocked off because we um, destroy that large piece that was holding it together. I'm just gonna triple check this area here. Okay, more dark elves defeated by the dark, uh, light el sorry, more light elves defeated by the dark elves here. Okay, uh, let's stay on this side, raise the platform, and before we use the sand ball to leave, Let's collect some health stones around here. Quite a few. Oh, what do you know? They actually didn't didn't stay active. I thought they would have. Uh, this one here, I think it's just a hack silver pouch. Yep. Nothing special. Skip the sandball for a sec. Just make sure we went that way, that way, and yeah. Oh, that's right. We did open this side. Okay, cool. So nothing else to collect. Oh, that's weird. The I think the tendrils had respawned on my practice playthrough. Uh, I'm gonna leave this health stone. It doesn't really matter either way. Um, oh, let me get that real quick. That one I will take. It's a little far away. All right, now, before we do anything, I'm actually going to use, I'm gonna change things up a little bit here. I'm going to use Nord's Tempest and I'm actually going to um, upgrade it to level 2. Um, you definitely don't need to do this. I'm just doing it because if my strategy works, uh, it would be pretty cool. 
Um, and the other thing I'm going to do is change the gold, golden talisman of protection to the amulet of Kfasir. Um, this amulet will be useful in the fight that's coming up if it wasn't obvious. <laughs> um, and then I think I'll leave the experience. I don't really need anything else. Um, okay, so this fight that's coming up is rather challenging. Uh, when I first did it, uh, it took me about an hour to beat. And yesterday when I was practicing, I got on my very first go. So hopefully um, I can replicate that. Uh, the thing we want to be aware of is that the uh, amulet of Kvasir uh, that I put on is a last second dodge, activates realm shift, temporarily slowing down surrounding enemies. So that's what we want to try and use to defeat him. But it, it is like, it's, I think it's not frame perfect, but it's pretty close. Okay, let's fight. Okay, so to do it, like that. And I forgot to put the, <laughs> the stupid runic attack on. That's alright. Let's try that again. Hmm. I'm dodging at the last second, it might have to be even more last second than that. Let's try it again. That was pretty much like on the dot, I don't know what's going on there. I, that is not what I meant to do. I'm actually going to stop that. Uh, try and knock him out of the air when he does that. Nice. Okay, now that Hell's touch is back off cooldown, I'm going to use Nord's Tempest. If you can get him... Like, if you can do the last second dodge and use the amulet, which I'm going to try again. You can actually, like, do this and then deal a significant amount of damage, but... For whatever reason, it's not activating. Let me try it on a different move. I don't know if you're supposed to hit him when he's in the air for that. Okay, let's try it again. And that time I actually left it too late. Ah, okay. Let me get my health. Where is it? Yoink. That was pretty good. I don't know. I don't know why... why it doesn't work. During practice I actually upgraded it to make it work. Oh, that was bad. Bad timing. Where is he? Can't see. Oh, there we go. I got Realm Shift to activate on that one. That's not too bad, but yeah, it's hard to... Let's try that again, if he does it again. Finishing him off is actually really tough. Yeah, <laughs> I had a feeling... I didn't know if I was going to die there, or if... Um, or if uh, I was going to... I don't even know what I was going to say. Or just like take a heavy hit, I guess. Um, Alright, so yeah, Nord Tempest. Nah, whatever. It's it's good, it's just hard to use. Alright, we'll try it again. I should be able to beat him this time. I'm like going for specific things because I'm trying to figure out how to beat this guy with. That was pretty good. I swear I got the Realm Shift to activate on that one. Okay, that was pretty good. Can't see. Oh, there he is. Come on. Okay, that was worth it. Holy crap, that was a full bar almost. Is it because I'm moving? Maybe that's what it is. I'm moving at that exact moment. Like, I'm moving. I'll try it again. Hang on. Is that even doing damage? Yeah, that, that second one is. Okay, let's try it again, hang on. 
Hmm. No, that was pretty good. I mean, you have to move to dodge, right? Yeah, you do. But I don't know. Tried to block that. Love doing that. <laughs> May have to use my my health. Yeah, if you run up close to him while he's doing that, he changes stances. Yeah, I think dodging that first one and then... Nice. Oh, that was such a big hit. Didn't realize. I'm like trying to like learn new things about him. That was terrible. <laughs> Bang! Bang! Oh, he got me with an attack there, I didn't realize. Careful, careful. One. Two. Just gonna, <laughs> just gonna do that to get some health back. Oh yeah, watch out for that move. That will pretty much insta-kill you. And he does it so often and it's really annoying. Just die. Just die. Uh. Yeah, if you don't dodge that move... Oh, thank goodness. Alright, done. <laughs> Did we help the wrong side? I... Let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't... Oops. Okay. Let me quickly grab this. Wrath of the Wolf. A runic summon. Summons a spectral wolf that pounces on enemies three times. Okay, press options to continue. You have acquired a runic summon. Runic summons can be equipped to the talon bow in the weapons tab. Hold square to activate runic summons. So we go, we're in weapons, we're on uh, the bow. We go down to runic summon, press X, and we equip the Wrath of the Wolf, which is a pretty good runic summon, actually. Uh, pretty much the one I use exclusively for the whole game. But there are more. That is enough. Can we go now? <laughs> You're gonna say, be smug and say something like, I told you so, and he's like, that is enough. Finally got, got the better of him. Yeah, he's, he's like, all right, enough. You've, uh, been petulant for long enough. Uh, nothing else special. So yeah, that uh, we did manage to beat him there. 35, 2, 5, 3. Can't believe I'm on 3 to go for that. That's crazy. Alright, and then yeah, let's get out of here. Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. Boy, read this. Boy. What's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here- If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Fine. At that point, even Kratos realized he went too far. Huh, I have noticed that the sandball turns to face the temple again. All right, cool. All right, now there is one more thing that we're going to do. I'm unfortunately I'm out of time, but I wanted to change this back to Hell's Touch, and I think that's it. Yeah, I want to leave the rest. 
There's one more thing that we need to do, and I guess what we'll do... I'm gonna just row the boat over there, and we'll do it next time. Hopefully, I don't know if they're gonna have a conversation. I'm just realizing I probably should have just ended it there, just in case. Looks okay to me for now. Alright, cool. Alright, so when we come back next time, I'm gonna do a little sneaky thing that I actually worked out when I was uh, on practice and I was like, oh, this is perfect. This actually works out really well. So we'll do that next time. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 25 of Let's Planet God of War. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.